Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to revive. No, not that type of revive. I am talking about playing your Oculus games on the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. This video will cover installation, how to launch your games, and some of the most common problems you might come across. So if you guys can just hold on for five minutes in this video, you will have all the revive information you will ever need. I promise you guys. I will even put timestamps in the description for the super impatient. So one of my buddies Badalin actually requested this video because he said every single revive video he watches basically starts with the game already running. So here it is. It's really simple guys. First thing you're going to do is download the revive application and I will put a link in the description. Now generally I would recommend that you always install the current release version. At the moment of making this video, that version is 1.6.4. However, if you come across problems with a new game or something's just not working right, upgrade to the latest version, even if it's pre-release. There were reported issues with 1.6.4 and Defector, so I immediately upgraded and didn't play any games. Now, if you are installing the pre-release version, there is the chance that you will get the Windows pop-up trying to block the software from installing and you can just hit more options and run anyway. If you happen to have Oculus or Steam VR open when you install this, close them and reopen them. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Revive dashboard. Revive generally auto launches when Oculus launches, but if you need to, you can launch it just like any other application and it will actually show you this screen of all the Oculus games you have installed. Not all of your games, just the ones you have installed. And this is one way you can launch your games. So from here, you just click the game you want, launch it, and oh no, oh, what happened? Well, this is a pretty simple one, guys. The error doesn't say much, but Steam VR is not running. So let's go ahead and launch Steam VR. Okay, Steam VR is up, and what the heck? This weird guy has three base stations. What is wrong with this guy? So now let's try that again. Let's go ahead and launch Defector, and now we have another issue. Well, this is a simple DRM issue. We don't have Oculus running. It can't authenticate that I own the game. So that's simple. Let's just launch Oculus. Now, generally the Oculus services start with your machine. I have mine shut down because, I don't know. I don't want a Facebook service running. I'm in IT. We just shut down services for no reason. All right, third time's a charm. And there it is, guys. The game launches no problem. Now you could just as easily launch your games inside of Steam VR. Just go down to the bottom where you have your settings tab. You will see a new tab called Revive. Click on this, you will see your installed Oculus games and you can go ahead and launch them right from here. Now, as you see, they will emulate the Oculus touch controllers. To be honest, I really don't recommend you use the Vive wands for anything with smooth locomotion. The trackpad just does not translate well to the thumbstick and the layout is different, but the index controllers work perfectly with this emulation. Every key is basically in the exact same spot and you really can't go wrong. That being said though, I was able to play Robo Recall and Lone Echo with the wands a few years ago and I didn't have any major complaints. That translated well, but straight up free locomotion games, you're not going to have a great time. Now prior to the 1.7 version, I actually had to use code injection to launch Vader Immortal. Now that currently no longer seems necessary, but Let's go over it just in case. Revive and Oculus are always in a state of flux. So I don't know if you'll need this in the near future. So if you go ahead and right click the revive icon near your windows clock, you will see the option for inject. Now this will inject code directly into an EXE before it launches in order to allow it to work outside of Oculus. So when you click inject, it's actually looking for the executable, which you won't know offhand, but let me show you how to find it. So if you open your Oculus app and head over to the game you want to launch, click the three dots, then select details, and then look at the application location. You can click it to copy to clipboard and then paste it right into the injection screen. And in most cases, this brings you directly to where the executable is. For Vader Immortal, it was buried a little bit deeper. I had to find a secondary executable. I injected it, the game launched fine, I was able to play, and then after that you could come back and repeat this process with patch, so hopefully you don't have to continuously use the injection process. 
but like I said, currently in the 1.7 version, this is no longer a necessity for me. The game just launches. So maybe a few weeks from now or a few months, you might start to experience some issues with Revive. And all you're gonna do in that situation is go download the latest version. If a brand new exclusive comes out, there is the chance that it will not work with Revive on day one. But usually an update comes out pretty quickly. So you get the update and you are good to go. That is the full Revive overview. There are no Revive settings to adjust. There's nothing else to do. You guys have all the information you need. Okay guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment, let me know what your experience with Revive has been. Did this video help you? Was it informative? Please let me know. And if you like my content, go ahead and consider subscribing. Maybe click in that bell so you know every time I put out a new video. Okay guys, thanks again and I will see you on next time.